Well, hello everybody, and oops, that's right, just let's start the show by uh, moving the camera. Um, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a colouring catch up. Um, if you remember last time, I asked you if you wanted me to colour from Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings by Hannah Lynn or Design and Desserts by Creative Haven. I got one vote for each, so what I plan on doing is today I'm going to start Fairy Tale Princesses, and then in the next current catch up, I'll start Designers and Desserts and I'll alternate them. Now, let's move that one out of the way. So, for the uh, Fairy Tale Princesses, I am going to use the Faber Castell Polychromos because I haven't used them for a while. And for the d desserts book, I'm going to actually use the Black Widow collection. That's uh, all three sets, so I've got all three sets, so um, I haven't actually decided which one I'm going to do, which is very silly of me. Right, that one, yes, okay. Now I've seen some of these done um, by other people, I've mostly off to the ball, um, the mermaid ones, um, what one's the other one I've seen done? There are a few of them. Yeah, the Aladdin one, I think it was. There's an Aladdin one, I think. So, but we are going to do Waiting for Peter Pan. So, that's the one I decided I was going to do. Because I think this is really, really cute. Now, very cleverly, I've left my sharpener somewhere else. I'm just going to go get that. I won't be a second. Here we go, you can probably hear Jennifer in the background and the post has just arrived. I don't think it's anything exciting though. No. Um, but don't worry if you do hear Jennifer in the background. Um, obviously if she starts crying, I will have to go and sort her out. Uh, but, you know, hopefully she'll be okay. So I'm just having a look for our first colour, which is like flesh, because we'll start with uh, Wendy's face. Now, I did want to do this a bit earlier. I've taken me a while to be able to get here and film, because every time I start setting things up to do some filming, uh, somebody starts crying or needs something, or I've got something else that needs to be done. So sadly, I haven't been able to get anything else up. It's very, very difficult with a young baby. She's very demanding. She's beautiful, as you know, but very demanding. So I am getting these up as and when I can. So I mean, I wanted to go out for a, a walk today, but I am just so, so tired from the night feeds waking up in the middle of the night you know, her wanting me to feed her. That I just cannot face going out today. But that's okay. Um, we're doing this instead. I mean, as you know, I'm not the best colourist. I just colour because I enjoy it and it's nice to have a chat to you, so... Jennifer had her checkup the other day, which she ha you have after six weeks. She's actually seven weeks now. And everything's fine, there's no problem, she's, she's fine. And we've got through, scarily, the dates for her immunisation, so I'm terrified of that. They have given me some Calpol on prescription for her, for when they do it, so. But she has been suffering from bad wind and it doesn't, no matter how much I wind her, she still screams. She still does. It's, it's not very pleasant for both of us at all, so. She's sleeping better during the night, so that's good. She's getting there. She's sleeping for blocks of about three to four hours at a time. I usually wake up before she does, thinking, hmm, we've been asleep for a good few hours. She's going to want feeding soon, so I'm, I'm actually able to preempt it usually by about 15 to 20 minutes and get the, the food done. 
ready for her. Bless her. So we are both fine. This next one I use is cinnamon. There is a, a medium and a dark flesh as well. But they're in a strange order, so oh god, I'm not doing very well. I just dropped that on the floor. Stuck it in the floor. So there we go. So I've been trying to finish some of my whips and I have managed to finish a couple of them, which is great. I finished two the other night, posted them in some of the Facebook groups I'm in. And at the end of this month, the end of, of March, beginning of April, I will do a um, completed pages video because I have got a few now. Not a huge amount, but a few. Um, to show you and hopefully we'll, hopefully I will have uh, a few more by then as well but uh, yeah we um, have been managing in, to do a little bit of colouring in the evening so I'm going to go in with a bit of medium flesh now and that did not go in the pot so I all over but honestly oh I'm not having a good day today I think it's because I'm so tired after this we're going to go and have a little nap <laughs> the pair of us are going to have a little little nap Hopefully, she'll probably want feeding as soon as I get her upstairs, but I've got to put some of her clothes away, or washing away as well. So. I've also managed to read more books this month, only by one. I've actually read three books in uh, March, as opposed to the two I read in in February so I'm still way way behind on my Goodreads challenge but it is going up which is the main thing it is going up so hopefully I'll be able to catch up at some point it's very hard you just don't get time to do much with a young baby in house it's just the way it is unfortunately but not unfortunately because I wouldn't be without her but it is, it is difficult. So I have managed to read, like I said, three books. I've got another two books on the go, which I hope to finish this month, taking it up to five. Um, we are on the 20 something, 22nd, I think it's, yeah, Thursday the 22nd we're on today and hopefully this will be up today as well, up tonight. So you see, I've got um, plenty of other things that I want to film. It's whether or not I can get to do them because every time, like I said, like I start filming, or go to start filming or set it up to start filming and she starts crying or she wants something and that's fair enough she's only little she, she's done so she's only little she can't help her so so yeah I, I mean I do try and walk go for a walk most days um, but today I'm not going for a walk today. I'm, just, I'm too exhausted. So I thought I'd do a bit of colouring, which is relaxing. She's currently in a basket, you know, in Moses basket asleep or dozing. She assumed the sleep position, so I can only assume myself that she is sleeping. Right. Okay. So let me just get a white just to go over it again. So I'm not one that will spend hours and hours and layers and layers and layers. I cannot be bothered. I colour for fun and relaxation. Um, but yeah, so I don't really colour for, you know, I'm never going to be a brilliant artist. I haven't got patience. I, got, I use all my patience up on my little girl, so. 
Um, in April I'm hoping there may well be a colouring book and supplies haul just because I have obtained a few books and there are uh, some supplies I want to get in the next week or when I get paid at the end of the month which is actually next week so yeah it's the, the 30th we get paid so if I can I will I will do a little order it won't be a huge one it'll be a little order and then we will colour this I have no idea what colour this is because I haven't got my swatches with me I don't know where they've gone piece of paper somewhere I don't have a good look. I have got a new swatch book which I'm currently, excuse me, filling in um, for the moment at the beginning of it. Oh yeah, it's a nice colour. So I've only just, just started it so and again I sort of do three or four pencils and then somebody wants me and I have to stop in a while. We get, but yeah. I will probably do some more swatching tonight when her daddy is home and he can look after her for me. He has her for a bit in the evening so I can have a relaxing bath and stuff. So I, I do the tea, I get our tea ready for us. I make sure she's fed and changed and then after tea Paul might wash up straight away or he might leave it for a little bit and I'll go and have a nice soak in the bath and I'll take a book with me and read in the bath and I think that's why I'm probably getting through a bit more because I'm actually reading in the bath rather than not reading at all and I also read when I'm waiting for her bottles to either heat or cool down because you know it's it's hard I try and get what I, do, I read when I can so I like this book so I'm really glad I got it it's one of my favorite ones at the moment I think because it's not just one subject so it's not all Peter Pan it's not all Alice in Wonderland it's not all Wizard of Oz or Snow White it's all the different ones I quite like that I like the idea of it it, it makes it more interesting I mean everybody does Alice in Wonderland I, I think I think what was it Hanlin said she was gonna do an Alice in Wonderland one I'm I'm gonna say it, I'm not a big fan of Alice in Wonderland I know people love it it's okay I don't have a problem with it but I'm not a huge fan like some people really love it I am of the Wizard of Oz I love the Wizard of Oz I love the film I love the books I love all the Oz stories, so I would be more apt to buy an Oz book. For instance, Creative Haven have got an Oz book coming out this year. Um, I cannot wait. I've got it on pre-order. It should be arriving, I think it's out in May, end of May, I think. So I am really looking forward to that one. Because I do, I do. I love The Wizard of Oz. It's one of my favourite things. What is that? Nope. So as you can see, um, let's go over here, excuse me, that is, yeah this one's probably fine, yeah that's good, let's give it a point. So I'm going to, I'm thinking of doing a series on all the different coloured pencils I've got, so for instance I've got the polychromos, I've got the Erosions, I've got the Colour Softs, I've got Prismacolors, I've got Marco Raffines, I've got Faber Castell Classics. I think that's all of them. And I've got the Derwent Ink Tents. Um, so let me know if you would be interested in seeing videos on different pencils. It won't be like um, 
a review. It'll be a review, but it won't be like the way some people do reviews where they do them with the different. Um, they do the swatches and everything. It'll be literally just starting a, a colour picture with them and showing you if they've got flesh tones and how well, if they have got flesh tones, how well they work. So let me know if that would be interesting. I probably will do it anyway, so. Well, I thought I'd ask you anyway. So. I just thought I, as I was swatching the colours of the Marco Refines, I thought, do you know what? I haven't used these for ages, but I really actually like them. And they were the first coloured pencils that I actually bought. Um, I think it was them, then the Colour Softs, then the, no, then the Faber Castell, then the Colour Softs, then the Prismas, then the Erotitans, and then the, the Polychromas. They're doing intense when they're somewhere around the Prisma colour time. But I'm not sure when that was. <laughs> so I've got quite a lot. There are other pencils I want, so. But I'm not bothered whether or not I get them because I know I've got enough pencils to keep me going. But you know, if um, the set of, I was looking on Amazon yesterday and the uh, Prismacolor Very Thins are on and they are 19.99 for the set, which is UK, it's, you know, they're not cheap. But I was thinking, hmm, I might have to get those. I don't know yet though, but I might. Because they, um, I wouldn't mind them. I think they're pretty much the same colours as in the ordinary Prisma colours. Correct me if I'm wrong if you've got them because I have no idea. But they are very thin, hence the tide, hence the name, very thins. Um, they are very thin points, very sharp points, good for details, which is why I want them. That we'll see. But there are also a few other things I want. I do want to get some Sharpies for colouring, things like mandalas and things like that. I'm not a big mandala person. I don't think that's very relaxing myself, but hey, that's just me. I, uh, I, if there's too much detail in the picture, and this is quite detailed, I get very frustrated because I think it's going to take so long and it's so difficult to to do. But things like this, I like these pictures. I love the Hannah Lynn's. Um, I've only got one other book and that's the Christmas one, but I have got some downloads from her website. I think it's a, it's a good idea if you can to... It's alright to say, oh, I like that picture that they've done. Um, but then you get the book and you think, I'm never going to colour this, it's too complex. Or you try it and you don't like the way it looks because you don't like the way you're doing it. I would say go on to, most of these artists have Facebook pages. So go on to their Facebook page. And usually there will be at least one free download for you to try so always try it especially when they've got new books coming out they tend to put one page from the new book as a free download for you to try before the book's released so yeah I mean if you I would advise to do that I've I've done that with a, a few artists including Hannah Lynn I got a few free Hannah Lynn ones um Selena Fennec there's quite a few of them does it? Uh, Jade Summer does the odd uh, free colouring page. Bennett Klein. So it's just a matter of going on to their website page, liking their web their pages on on Facebook, because you get all the updates then on when the new books are coming out. Like the Jade Summer Company, the Fritz and Company that run the Jade Summer brand, have books coming out every two weeks. Um. Now, I'm not currently in the market for Jade Summer. There is one I want. I would, I would like the Spring Flowers one. I think that's lovely. But they seem to do a lot of cutesy stuff, like anime and chibi girls and... Um, quiet girls are quite light. But it's all very, very much the... Um, the cutesy stuff. And... And I say that, and I'm currently in Hanalyn, who is the queen of cutesy stuff. 
other than lace, the Lacey Sunshine books. I'm not keen on that style. I'm not keen on like the Chibi Girls. I know some people love them. I'm just not, I'm not into the anime at all style. So it's like Colour in Heaven. I love their magazines that come out monthly. The April one is anime. I, I probably won't buy that one because I'm not keen on anime. And I know there are some people who absolutely love it and that is great, that is fine. You you go for it, it's just not for me. I like my girls to look fairly real, although I do like the way the Hannah Lynn ones look. And it's not that they're not cute, they are cute, but they are more realistic. It's very hard to describe, um, and a lot of the Jade Summer stuff that's coming out at the moment is very simple stuff, which again, I haven't got a problem with, I'll probably get it for Jennifer to colour when she's older, that sort of stuff. But I'm, I like the more complicated stuff that they've put out in the past. The, the cute one that they did, the new Alice in Wonder What Land one, which I've got, that's fine, I love that, I think that's so cute. But when you do every book in that style, it gets frustrating. Especially when they've done books that aren't in that style and I've really liked them. They've done an Egypt book and I haven't even started it. I must do it. I am trying to, my goal this year is to try and colour in a page in each book that I own. So that there's nothing on the top shelf. In the bedroom, I've got a bookshelf that keeps my journals on, my diaries, which I still keep to this day. I do still keep a diary every day, every, well not every day, but most days. And um, yeah, uh, on, on that shelf, I've got two shelves there, that's on the top shelf. And I put the books that I've got that I haven't done anything in on that top shelf. And then on the next shelf down, I have ones that I have done pages in and then kept separately ones I've done pages in that I haven't shown you guys so the ones I need to do for the coloured the coloured pages completed coloured pages so that's how I know I'm, I'm nearly at a point where I can actually show you what I've got so so I'm actually doing the second page of this there's two of these I'm doing the second page and the only reason I know that it is the second page without looking is because their eyes are slightly grayscaled for some reason I don't know why they've grayscaled the eyes to make it a bit easier for you I just grabbed the first page that I came to and I came in from the back so that's why excuse me sniffling I've got it so so Jennifer's actually asleep now, she's just had a bit of a feed before I came on to film this. She'll want more before long. <laughs> she does like her food. Like I said, she does get quite bad wind. So as you can see, I'm now using this colour. This colour is, I would say it's a mustardy colour, but I can't actually read it. It's a uh, light yellow ochre. So I've used like six or seven different colours on her hair. And this is from the girl who says she doesn't particularly like layering and she gets bored. But there you go, that's just me. So what are you all colouring at the moment? Are you... Uh, have you got any new good books that you would recommend? Like I said, I'm not really into the anime cutesy chibi girls type things. Some of them are all right. Um, and I think one or two books is all right, but when it's like, like 10 or seven or eight, it's like, yeah, no, no thanks. I mean, even, I, I know what it is. They've got, uh, Jade Summer's got fairies coming out, but again, they're these really cutesy little girls and I, that I don't particularly like coloring. They're almost like the Chibi Girls, um, Kawaii Girls, cute, cartoonish, is what I'm trying to say. They're cartoonish pictures rather than realistic ones. And there's nothing wrong with that. People do like to colour them. It's just not my, my thing. Saying that, I still might get it because there might be a couple of pictures in there once I've seen it. 
So when somebody like Grace has done a flip through and I've seen it, I might think, oh, I, do you know what? Actually, I really like that. I like her hair. Her hair looks really good, actually. <laughs> With all these different colour layers and things. Oh, I like that. Got her hair done anyway. Hooray! So. Hmm. I am just thinking. I am just thinking. Okay. Colour. Nope, too bright. Try this one. Mm, a bit better. What's the next one? So I'm just trying all these different colours to see which one I want. Yeah, that one will do. I'm going to do her bedspread now. You can't see it because it's below her dress. Because I haven't decided what colour dress to do yet. I'm, I'm leaning towards blue. But I doubt it's in Wonderland with blue. But... Uh, so I'm just uh, outside. So this is her bed spread. So I'm going to do the background in green. So I'm just going to go in here. Can you see that? Yes. Let's just zoom in a bit. So green but if I put this on and then put a bright green on the top it might uh... actually it's not far off what I was looking for yeah so that I mean I did the, the springtime flowers one which came out last week I think that's a nice one put the jade summer one that, that's a nice one that one so I might get that one and the, the one thing I do like about the Jade Summer books is they are really cheap. And yeah, that might be because they are Create Space. But do you know what? Who cares? And people say, oh, but pencils don't go down all right on them. This is true. They, they, they're not the best. It's not the best. Oops. We're out of focus. There we go. It's not... They're not it's not the best paper but it's what you make of it and when when, it, when you come down to it this is a hobby that's supposed to be fun and relaxing i'm not going to be using sharpies on create space paper or my derwent ink tents if i want to do that i'll buy a more expensive book with the right sort of paper in it so this one i think will take a little while because it's quite an in, there's quite a lot to do in this this picture isn't there the the bedspread and the, the windows and the biggest expanse is the sky and even that's not that big there's a lot of small bits so so I'm currently finally finally and I say this finally reading Harry Potter and the Deathly Harrows Hallows Harrows Hallows yeah it's mad isn't it um, and I'm enjoying it, but I've, I'm not much into it because, I've, like I said, I don't get much chance to actually read. So I'm I'm doing it as when I can. That and I'm also I've got a photo book that I'm currently working my way through, which is called The Secret World of Albert Kahn. And this is a book of early colour photographs. And when I say early colour photographs, I mean from the 1900s, 1920s, before the modern colour processes were done. They tended to, in order to do colour, they used potato starch. There was a, a, a thing called the autochrome process that used potatoes starch and uh, to make colour. And the pictures are absolutely stunning. So I'm currently reading that. It's a lovely book beautiful it's massive absolutely massive but it is really nice so I'm looking at I'm working my way through that as well I always have several books on the go because I have books downstairs I have books in the bedroom uh, books everywhere I love books I seem to have put down my pencil sharpener and now I don't know where it's gone. 
Do you know what I do this a lot? Put things down and lose them. There it is. I'm not. So once again, the camera stopped for no reason. It seems to do that in about 30 minutes or so. I mean, I don't know whether it's because it gets hot or what, but it just, every now and again, just stops. So, um, yeah, I'm just, so I was just sharpening this pencil. Like I was saying, I keep putting things down and I can't find them. Yesterday it was my pen. I got a pen I was using to write in my colour chart book. And I put it down and I couldn't find it. And I was like, well, where's it gone? And then it turned up on the coffee table. So what are you all colouring at the moment? So, you know, what books are you colouring in? And should I, where did you get them from? And should I get them? Obviously, if you get it somewhere, if you're in America and you get it from somewhere like Dollar Tree, Dollar General, or anywhere of those, we don't have those stores over here. So it's very unlikely I will be able to get them. Um, then we have stores over here where we can get books like Lidl's um, that you probably don't get over. You can't get the books over there. I don't know. But so we don't have like Dollar General, Dollar Tree, and so we don't really see those books, sadly, because I've seen some lovely ones. Even the Colour It books are very hard to get hold of in the UK. I just ordered one from Amazon America, and it's not going to be coming out till sometime in April. The the estimated delivery date was 30th of March to 6th of April or something like that. So the uh, haul will be after that, so I want to include that. Um, Hopefully it will come no problem because I really it's what I really really wanted. Um, I saw it on somebody's channel. I thought I've got to go there, so I ordered it. And it's the same with some coloured pencils. Some coloured pencils you can't get in the UK. So up until recently you couldn't get the Arteza pencils. They are now available. Amazingly. They are now available, so I noticed them the other day. I've put them on my wish list. My wish list is only really used by my brother for birthday and Christmas, so I don't link it down below. I think I linked it once. I don't link it down below. I don't expect anything. Oops, somebody's stirring in there. Uh, a little Moses basket. You might be able to hear little noises in the background, so she might want some attention in a minute. I hope uh, as long as she doesn't start screaming. Poor little thing. So I used, just so that you know on the bedspread, first of all I used, let me just find it, permanent green and this one I think is, yeah, leaf green. I think it was pale green. It might have been the dark one again, actually. I'm not sure. Ugh, I'm not very good at this, am I? No, nope. she's gone back to sleep. So yeah, there are so there are certain things we we can get. So like I said, the Arteza pencils, I've noticed, are now available on Amazon UK. Um, and I have heard good things about them, and I would like to try them, but. So I've put them in my wish list. Maybe somebody will buy me them for my birthday, which is in June, I don't know. Um, but like I said, I don't put my wish list down below. I don't expect anybody to send me anything. Um, the only thing I do is I link the products used in this video will be linked down below and it will be an Amazon link and I am an Amazon associate. So if you bought, say, the book or the polychromos from Amazon using the link. I would get a small commission, it wouldn't be much. It doesn't cost you anything. It's take, it's taken out of the cost price, the listed price. And so, yeah, by all means, you know, that I would appreciate it if you did that. But I don't expect people to send me stuff. I'm never gonna ask you to send me anything. Um, we're currently at something like 380 something subscribers which is great. I never thought I'd even get to that. I thought, well, I was amazed when I got to 50. Um, but uh, when we get to 500 subscribers, I will do a giveaway of some sh shape and form. It will probably be an Amazon gift card. Um, the reason being is that that's pretty much for anybody worldwide can enter and there's no postage costs because I can get it emailed to you. 
um, and then you can buy what you want. Um, because I do so many different things on this channel, I will be mentioning that in my booktube. I will be mentioning it when I do my photographies and when I do my general vlogging. When I do my Marilyn stuff, it will be mentioned then. So uh, it also means I don't have to say, well, it's going to be a colouring book, or it's going to be this Marilyn item, it's going to be a roll of film. It can be whatever you want it to be. So it'll probably be £10 or $10 or something along those lines. And all you've got to do is, you know, I'll, I'll explain, but, but, but I want to wait till I get to 500 subscribers. If I ever do, because it would be nice. I mean, I know I'm a long way off getting the 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 hours of watch time or whatever it is that they want. It works out as 240,000 minutes, if I remember rightly. Somebody worked it out. And I have looked that I am, my watch time is around, for the last 12 months, about 140,000. So it's not too bad. If I can get up to 1,000 subscribers, I might actually get there. But I'd be happy with 500 subscribers. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, if you are, you know not subscribed uh, please do subscribe obviously it's free it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe I don't ask for anything in return other than maybe you watch and comment so I do like your comments and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can there will be more book videos there's going to be more vlogging and one of the things I wanted to do today if I went out for a walk was actually I was going to take the iGeek with me and try and vlog with that to test it out. Sorry, she's making some funny noises. She needs to make some funny noises. Um, and then uh, try that out. But um, I just have not got the energy today. So I will do that on the weekend. <clears throat> if we have nice weather I'll be going out for a walk on the weekend probably along the canal again um, which you have seen but it's just going to show up differently I won't be putting I will mount it on top of the the, ca the camera I'll be using I might try and finish the cannon roll off and put another roll in and, and do that and we'll see how we go but I probably won't develop the film straight away and put it in the, the the vlog because that would take ages. But when I do proper photo walks, I will do. You'll know when I'm taking a picture because you'll hear the shutter go anyway. And especially if I take a, a portrait photograph because the camera will tip sideways. So I'm not keen on this green. I'm probably going to go over it with a darker one. The same one I used before there, I think. I think it was that one. Yeah, it's a bit light. This is leaf green. This is quite fiddly because you've got all the flowers on there as well. So. And this curtain seems to go on forever. She's got very long curtains. So you can't see what I'm doing again. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just down here doing this bit. What I'll do is I'll get the darker one and go over it a bit. That is quite fiddly. This is the things I don't, I'm not keen on. <laughs> when it gets very, 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 very fiddly like this. I could just put the green away and go on with the bedspread, but I'm one of those people I jump from section to section. I don't say, right, I'm gonna do her first and I'm gonna do this. I just think, right, I'm gonna do that bit next. It's quite good because it's quite fiddly. I'm wondering what this bit is just here. Is it her? It's not part of the curtain because the curtain's got the pattern on it. It's not part of the bedstead because it's not thin enough. That's definitely her. It might be her other arm. That's an interesting one, it's hard to say. And sometimes you see these in these pictures and it's not obvious what they are. So if you know what this little bit is here, 
that's part of her nightdress. If this you think is her arm, let me know what you think that is. We'll leave that bit until the end, I think. Right, I'm just going to go over that with the other green. Was it this green I used? I think it was this green. No, I don't think it was that. See, it was the next one up. So it wasn't that green. It wasn't permanent green I used. It must have been... Permanent green olive. Right, okay. Yeah, that would make sense. So I'm going to go over this now and just give it a bit of a point. So one thing I need to order is a new sharpener. So I've been watching um, A Colourful Life, Anne's channel, and she's using a M&R sharpener. And I'm thinking of getting that, and it's 9 99 in the UK, so £10. Which is quite expensive for a sharpener. The Tegal was only like four quid, if that. The dead little one, which is the one I'm using today, was like 99p or something ridiculously cheap. But she says it's good for colour softs, and I've, I'm having trouble with sharpening my colour softs, and I want to use them soon. So I'm thinking I'm going to order that. And there is a book I want to buy to read. I looked at it, it was in the library and I actually thought, oh, they've got it in here. And I thought I could take that out, but I thought, no, I want to own it because I've got the first one and I want to buy the series. Um, and it's by Andrew Cartmel and it's um, a series called The Vinyl Detective. It's about a chap who buys vinyl and sells it on if it's rare. Some of it he keeps and he gets involved in some mysteries. So, yeah, the second one they had in the library. I've read the first one. I really want to read the second one. So I'm hoping that I might order that, the M&R sharpener, possibly some Sharpies, I'm not sure yet, it depends, because obviously I'm trying to save as much money as I can at the moment because um, I'm currently still on full pay on my maternity leave but very soon I'll be going on to what, they, what is half pay and then after that I'll go on to nil pay. So I need to make sure that there's some money in my account, so. Right, I'm just gonna go and sort her hat. Sometimes she does that in her sleep, which is why I just paused. Um, but doesn't sound like that's gonna be a sleepy one, so I'll be right back. So she just needed a, a, a change and wanted feeding, but I'm gonna have to go because she's very, very unsettled, as you can hear. So what I will do is I will finish this side of the curtain and probably do the other side of the curtain off camera and then we'll come back, we'll start delicious desserts and then we'll take it in turns and come back to this one. Um, but obviously I've got to make sure that the little one's okay. Like I said, she is a bit unsettled, she's quiet at the moment. But she could kick off at any second so I'm gonna end the video pretty soon so I hope you've enjoyed this so far I mean I haven't done much it, it's taken us a while to do this because we spent quite a lot of time on her hair I've really only done her, her hair part of the bedspread and a curtain so this one's gonna take us a while to do so like I said what I'll do is I'll do the other side of the curtain off camera and then we'll come back and we'll do some more of this another day and uh, let's have a see how that's looking very nice so I mean as you can see at the moment we haven't done very much at all we've literally just done her hair the green of the bread spread and the curtain I will keep these two the wrong way around so I know where I am. I'll make sure I, I know which ones I'm using. And um, I'll finish that curtain off later tonight on the other side of the window and then we'll come back and, and do some more soon. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, don't forget to like, comment, share. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Like I said, once we get to 500 subscribers, we will do a, a giveaway of um, a gift voucher for Amazon. More than likely that's what it'll be. 
So please, please, please uh, encourage people to subscribe if you share it, they may see it. If you give it a thumbs up, more people will be able to see this video, so I'd appreciate that. Don't forget to leave me a comment, what books have you been colouring in, what books do you recommend, what are you reading, should I get the Arteza pencils? You let me know and I will see you soon. So happy colouring everybody and I'll be back as soon as I can. Bye!